Frontier community manager Arthur Tolmy dropped a bunch of tidbits about the current game and the Odyssey expansion on this afternoons Super Cruise News livestream. In this video we're going to break down what we heard and what we now know. If you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and if you'd like to support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. On the subject of the game in general then, the current problems with Horizons content on PlayStation is being looked at at Frontier and the team have today put up a forum post asking for more details from players that are experiencing problems. Arthur did mention that a fix is being tested at the moment but couldn't yet give an idea when it's likely to be ready. A new call cool narrative event is being put together at the moment, the third and final act of which received sign off today. When the team refers to a narrative event they're speaking specifically about the in game events such as the Adamaster from October last year or the distress signal event that we saw more recently. Again there's no date for when this might land currently. Arthur acknowledged that last weeks CG finished really quickly and that they're still attempting to balance these things out and he's also acknowledged that carriers were a big part of the recent CG's quick completion and that they're still learning how to balance things in a game that now includes a system like the fleet carrier. The new My Favourite Planet competition that we reported on during last Fridays Witchspace news is still ongoing and will run through to the 28th of February. To participate in that and be in with a chance of winning a gaming headset you'll find a link in the description below with all the details. On the subject of Odyssey then, Arthur mentioned that he's been playing a pre alpha version of Odyssey this week and capturing some of that gameplay for a forthcoming video and that the game even in its current pre alpha state is looking stunning. Aside from that he's also mentioned that the new dev diary is being worked on. He didn't tie the dev diary comments to the gameplay capture comments which leads us to believe that the two are separate projects. That's to say we potentially have a new dev diary coming in and a new gameplay video. Arthur also mentioned that the current plan is that what we think is the gameplay video is aiming for release around early March but he did stress that the working conditions are obviously sub optimal at the moment and that that plan may understandably change. He stated later in the stream that he'd been capturing footage of heist gameplay so it's entirely possible that that's what we'll be seeing but that is just speculation. A question was asked in chat as to whether Frontier had made a decision about how player death will be handled yet. Arthur stressed that it was still an ongoing discussion at Frontier and that it may not be finalised by the time the alpha launches with changes being made to it after the company sees how players react to it. Someone asked in chat if the spaceports in Odyssey have toilets. The answer was given that they do in fact have toilets in them so we have toilets confirmed. A question was asked about whether the now staggered launch of Odyssey across PC and consoles would affect the BGS. Arthur confirmed that the background simulation would continue as normal after the PC launch of Odyssey as the PC and console simulations cannot be separated. And that's no huge surprise as it's a shared universe. Arthur mentioned that he'd been to look at the Pomesh system knowing that it's a popular racing spot and whilst the surface has changed he did say that it still has canyons and it still has ridges and it looks stunning. He also said the new lighting effects are making a huge difference and on rocky icy worlds you can see sparkles in the sand as the light catches and the new rock scattering system looks amazing. Even from orbit the new planetary tech is apparently incredible. Arthur reiterated again what Dr K Ross had said that there are some wind and dust effects on some of the tenuous atmospheric worlds but added we won't yet be seeing aurora or hurricanes. A question was asked about sky colour and will we see anything other than blue. Arthur stated that he wanted to say yes but that he needed to check on that. And as was asked on the live stream last week on the subject of planetary rings casting shadows he said he'd check on getting an answer for that as well. One finally really important thing that came out of Arthur's comments was that the base game players and Odyssey players will not be instanced 
together when landing on a non atmospheric world. The limitation there is in fact not a technical one but rather linked to the age rating for the two games. Elite Dangerous is rated for ages 7 and up whereas Odyssey due to its person to person gunplay is rated higher and so it wouldn't be age appropriate for non Odyssey players to see Odyssey content. That's a shame but it is understandable. So all in all unusually a fairly big info dump for a Tuesday livestream with some interesting nuggets of information. It does sound like we're getting a gameplay video in the next month or so and a new dev diary as well at some point. Did you hear anything in there that particularly got your interest or did you hear something that we missed? Sound off in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.